Welcome back. Still to come here at the Fale is award-winning rapper PNC. Hey, recycle. Kalia, you're wasting water. It's already been an hour. Get lost. <coughs> Pollution. Whatever. Get out of my room. <sighs> Our future is dependent on how we treat our environment. To get that message across, someone needs to take action. My goal! Come with me to find out about Earth Race. Technology. It set the new world record as the fastest powerboat to circle the globe, is run on 100% renewable biodiesel, and to top it off, Earth Race is all Kiwi. So how do they do it, and what does it take to set a new world record? Let's meet the main man behind it. Everyone, meet Pete Bethune, skipper of the Earth Race. So Pete, what is the Earth Race? Earth Race, it's the coolest boat in the world, brother. And a year ago, it set a record for a powerboat to circle a globe. That was uh, 60 days, 23 hours, 49 minutes, all the way around the world. And then around that, we've had a three-year program of uh, visiting cities and promoting this idea that people can lead amazing lives and you can take better care of the environment at the same time. But you've just got to think a little bit more about what you do. So how does this big speedboat speak for conservation? We run the boat on 100% biodiesel. We run it carbon neutral by purchasing carbon credits to balance our CO2 emissions. The construction of the whole part of it is made of hemp. All of these things have an impact on the environment. The key thing for the future in terms of fossil fuels will be transport. I just decided to do something transport related and I settled on a boat. And it meant I could take this program anywhere around the world that has a coastline. Can you tell us about the shape and design of the boat? The boat's design is called a wave piercer. It's got these three hulls, the two outriggers stabilise it, and then this big central hull that just cleaves these waves apart. And one of the requirements I said to the designers, if you can make it organic, and so they gave it this beautiful kind of crouching insect kind of shape. Well, you've told me all about it. I'm keen to have a look. Can you take us on board? Yep. Yeah, no worries. Come on, Rex. Oh, it's so tight inside here. You look at it from the outside, you think it's a massive yeah. boat, and you get in and it's so small, eh? It's so tiny, man. And what are all these signatures written on the walls? We had a kid in Dublin, he came in and graffitied the boat, and then I was looking at it that night, and I thought, it actually looks pretty cool. So they're everywhere now, all through the boat, especially in the sleeping quarters. But you get a sense for the number of people through. Like, we've had nearly 200,000 people through this boat. How fast can she actually go? Uh, in kilometres, about 75 k's. So it's not amazingly fast, but it's like an endurance boat. It's made to cross oceans, but it's about clocking up 600 miles a day, every day. It's around the clock driving, and then you'd have maybe two to four hours in port to refuel, clear customs, service your engines, yep. and get your food and water back on board. How many crew do you have? I've got a crew, normally a four and that's a good number for this boat. More than that, you start to get a little bit tight. They'll do the cooking through there, so we've got a galley, but it's pretty basic, man. Just got a, just got a kettle, a wok, and a microwave. Do people think you're crazy for doing this? Man, some people might, I reckon, but man, I've lived the dream on this boat, eh? It's been the most amazing adventure, and I've gotten to work on something I believe in. Thank you so much, Pete, and all Thank the you, crew of Earth Race for your inspiration in making our planet a cleaner one. If you guys want to know more, do check out the website below, and we'll see you back at the house. Awesome, man. See you later. See ya. New Zealanders go crazy over the Tui award-winning rapper PNC, and it's no wonder other New Zealand muses are wanting to collaborate with him and his music. Well. I consider myself a New Zealand muso, so today I'm gonna find out if I can jump on one of his tracks. This should be easy. Music. What's up, man? New Zealand PNC. Yeah. This guy standing right next to his album. <laughs> Yeah. That's all I do, just hang out by my album. Just hang out at Real Groovy yeah. here in Queen Street. Bro, I see you've been busy. Can yeah, you tell yeah, us yeah. a bit about this and what you've been up to? 
Yeah, yeah, just making that. It's my second album, Bazooka Kids, and um, collaborating with other artists. So this is your second album. The yeah. first one yeah. was Rookie Card. Rookie Card, yeah. How different is this baby from the first one? The first one was sort of more standard hip hop, and it was a bit brighter and sort of happier. Th that one's kind of got an 80s kind of vibe to it, and I guess it'll be a bit more low key, melancholy. And the name, bro, Bazooka Kid, everyone's been asking me. <laughs> what does that mean? I, I just had the word Bazooka in my head. That's kind of how I wanted it to sound like loud and ridiculous, kind of. And um, I just like the image of a kid running with a bazooka. It made me laugh, but yeah, yeah that's it. I know what PNC stands for. Yeah. But for those out there that don't know what it stands for, can you tell them? It's, the PN is Palmerston North, and the C is, is city or crew or clique or whatever you want to. You can make the C up. One thing I love about this album is that you collab with other New Zealand musos. Can you yeah. tell us a few of them? Yeah, we got um, Chong Nees on the album, uh, Shea Fu, Ms. J, Tyra Hammond, and the only MC is David Dallas. And is it fair to say that they're all lining up to be a part of PNC's music? <laughs> nah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I mean, like, people like Shea Fu, when I get on that, it blows my mind, because I've been a fan of his since I was, like, Eight. It's awesome being able to work with people that were, you know, heroes of yours growing up. So it's cool. Okay, so you've obviously brought me to the hip hop section. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. it was going to be folk <laughs> music. <laughs> yeah, this is some of the stuff I, I got into growing up. Jay Z was a big influence on mine. This album from Outkast, one of my favorites, Equimini. Is PNC trying to sound like them? I think everyone does that. They when they start out, they're kind of imitating, and then you develop your own voice as you go on. Awesome, man. So New Zealand, stay tuned for my man PNC. Now, can you drop some of this Bazooka Kid music back at the folly? Okay, we can make that happen. Sweet man, let's do yeah. it. Everybody, this is PNC. Now he's here to jam us a track, and he promised that I could join in. Hey, sorry. I did. I did. <laughs> the man. The man. Thanks heaps to you guys for hanging with us today. Make sure you log on to our website to win some free stuff, and check us out 24/7 right here. Thank you to all our guests on the show. New Zealand, give it up for PNC and us. Say around 98, few years ain't school set. Fancy seeing you backstage at a show. And like back in the day, a face day with a glow. Meet me out front and take me home. But I don't need a rim in my love. Let me so sorry. Oh, the beast, you know what I mean? Take me home. Be straight. Woo! PNC.